Yo, what is going on everyone? We are back with another SnowRunner mod review and today we're checking out the Transstar Blue Line X. I'm very, very excited to check out this truck. I've seen lots of uh, different variations of the Transstar and I've seen some different Blue Line X uh, products coming out of the workshop there. By, but, you know, when you look at this, you can see the flares and stuff and this is something you don't see in a whole lot of mods really. Um, and that's a whole new kind of level of customization for me. And that is something that I am excited about, to say the least. So, before we jump into it, guys, do me a huge favor. You know what to do. Drop a like on the video and smash that subscribe button. We are going to be moving back into some Mod Runner mod reviews as well and checking out some of the mods that are coming out there. I keep forgetting that there's still great mods coming out for Mod Runner. But, let's jump into it, guys. Alright, let's customize this Transstar Blue Line X. Now, the funny part is, is I've seen the Blue Line X variations, but I haven't really used any of them. Uh, this might be a better engine, I'm not sure. No. Alright, so we're going to go with the GB8V2700T. The Advanced Special Custom Gearbox. Stock Suspension. I'm actually kind of surprised there isn't a raised or some other kit for it this does seem higher i think i could be wrong it does seem a little bit higher but maybe he adjusted the stock height to begin with let's go down to the mud tires and we're going to take the tmhs or should we take some chains kind of wondering and we'll, t we'll take these 51s we got the extended power winch but we got a spare wheel we got twin front facing or tall flat cap we're going to take the flat cap Frame add-ons, we got heavy crane, flatbed, all kinds of options. Every option we can need. Um, I see this, honestly, as more of a sideboard bed type truck for me, personally. We're going to add the chrome parking lights. We are going to add some fenders. I like having some tail lights. Let's go with that. Front bumper, we got some options here. I do like the single bar quite a bit, actually, so we're going to go with that. Cabin lights A, cabin lights A bottom. We're out on all the cabin lights. There we go. Twin horns, western star horns, spotlight one, spotlight two. Sun visor with fog lights. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Cabin air conditioner. Let's squeeze it all in that we can. Exhaust, 49X, exhaust. That's kind of interesting, but I think it suits this truck. Tager rims, and we've got some different variations of paint jobs here. I like this one. Uh, so we're going to pull it out and see what it can do. So the first thing actually I want to show you before we get going, I'm going to fast forward to the night. And you can see how nice these flares look. And we also have fog lights on the sun visor, which is something that I actually haven't seen done before. And this is the first time that I've seen that in a mod uh, or in game at all. So that adds some extra lighting. It's not blinding, it just seems balanced. And we do have an always on diff lock, which I think will be a huge help for this truck. And we have the all-wheel drive on currently. And we just have some 51-inch mud tires and the sideboard bed. Me, personally, I don't think I would use this truck for anything other than the sideboard bed. Um, one thing that I really would like to see with the Blue Line X version of the Transstar and probably any other Blue Line X version is some custom tires. I'm not necessarily saying quasis, but some custom tires would be cool. Uh, a lot of the custom tires or tire models that come out they really just add an extra layer, in my opinion, of uh, realism and simulation to the trucks. Make them look pretty nice. Um, and it's something that makes them stand out a little bit, in my opinion, from the stock truck or the stock tires that you see on vanilla trucks. So. It doesn't seem OP in terms of engine and transmission. We seem to be doing fine in the low plus right now. And it'll be pretty interesting to see later on when the new season three releases how trucks handle and if all default trucks are going to get the potential for fine-tuning custom transmission or uh, gearbox upgrade 
which gives them the extended low range gears. Um, I'm kind of interested to see what people do with that in terms of mods as well moving forward. So. This truck so far sounds amazing and uh, it's not overpowered, it's not underpowered, it's just a really smooth sound. I don't know. We're going to pop it in a low plus now and uh, try to take it through the torture test, see what we can do here with this Transtar. One thing that I think is important for me when I look at new mods that come out, um, whether they're tweaks or completely new trucks, is how much more versatile does the mod make that truck? Is that truck now going to be a little bit more useful? I also wonder if we had some weight in that sideboard bed, if that would help us out a little bit here, but although we're spinning, we still seem to be making progress and moving forward without any hesitation. And this uh, Transtar does look really good doing it. I'm going to pop it in a low now because it just might make a little more sense. There doesn't appear to be a whole lot of weight in the front either because we're not exactly digging at any stage here. Um, and if anything, I don't want to say we're cruising through this mod, but we're not exactly having a hard time making it through it either. Although we are digging in a sense, we're not sinking like we typically do um, in every single other truck or most trucks. I've even seen scouts sink a little more in this part of the mud pit. And it, it's almost like low gear which is made for this truck and the fine tuning on this was made for this mud pit. You can see how little we're sinking. The mud isn't even going up past halfway mark on the rim, really, in most situations. You know, we can put it in a low minus and uh, low. Low plus we can still put in. We just spin a little bit, especially now that we're in the supier part of the mud. And that's it. That mud didn't slow us down at all, guys. Um, I haven't done this before with this uh, size truck, but what we're going to do now is we are actually going to go through the scout side of the trail to see how it does there. Being a bigger truck, sometimes you do have to go through uh, trails like that. Whether you want to or not, you don't really have a choice. You only got so much fuel, and you got to get the cargo where the cargo needs to go. normally part of the scout test I just thought this would be very fitting because I have seen more times than not you have a bigger truck and a smaller trail and you kind of almost need to take that path um, this truck being the cab over engine is uh, a little bit easier for that obviously but still does have quite a long wheelbase it's also cool to see the suspension on it as well because the suspension so far doesn't seem to be too stiff, but it also doesn't seem to be, uh, I don't know the best way to even phrase this, but it's, it's not too stiff, but it's also not too soft. Like it, it's kind of, it's a stock suspension, but it feels like there is a little bit of change made to it. I'll have to ask the mod developer if there was any changes made to the very stock version of the suspension for this truck. Again, I was really surprised not to see rays, but you can see the ground clearance you have with this truck. Uh, I don't think it needs raised, especially with these tires. The tires raise it up a good bit on their own anyways to begin with. Now we're kind of hitting the deeper part of the snow that most scouts kind of struggle with a little bit. You can see we're spinning a little bit, but we're going to pop it in a low and just see how we can kind of coast out of this. And back in a low plus now that we're coming out of the deeper end of it. There we go.
And that is it, guys. 10 out of 10, I recommend checking out this mod. The mod link is going to be in the description, guys. Don't forget to smash that like, and don't forget to sub to the channel. We'll catch you with the next one.